or just two squared since you're going to square it. Minus six squared and four. Change vector B minus two i minus six j plus fourteen k in Cartesian form into magnitude and direction. Now this is a three-dimensional problem. The first thing you really want to do is still sort of sketch yourself a little picture of what it is you're talking about. So if we make this the x-axis, this one the y-axis, and this the z-axis, we have a situation that's going to be minus 2i, so we're dealing with something that's going to be over here, minus 6j, so we're going back this way, minus 6, and up from here in the, in the z-direction, 14. So we've got sort of a situation that looks like this. And this is our vector b. Remember that magnitude is always found with the Pythagorean theorem. So to find the magnitude of b, you're just going to take the square root of each of its components squared. So in this case, what we've got is minus 2 squared, or just 2 squared, since you're going to square it, minus 6 squared and 14 squared. If you plug that into your calculator, you've got 15.3623. That's the magnitude of B. What we need to do now is figure out the directions. What are our angles? Let's define the projection in the plane here as T. So the first thing we can look at is this triangle right here. This is B, and this is our projection in the XY plane, T. This first angle that we're looking for here is theta. That's the projection, the angle between the projection in the xy plane and the vector itself. We can find that with the Pythagorean theorem again, or with some trig. This is our k component, this is 14, and the magnitude of b we just found was 15.4. So, the angle theta is the arc sine, or inverse sine, however you'd like to put it, of the opposite 14 over its hypotenuse, 15.4. Make sure you use all of its significant digits as you're going through here. This angle is 65.689 degrees. The next angle we want to find is the angle in the xy plane. So in this particular instance, if we look at the xy plane, what we have is a minus 2 component, so this is 2, and a minus 6 component, so this is 6. And here's our projection in the xy plane, that's t. We want to find the angle here. That angle phi, you can find again using some trig. This is the arctan or inverse tan of 2 over 6. This is 18.435 degrees. Remember that you always have to answer the question. Our magnitude is 15.4 and the two angles are theta is 65.7 degrees above the xy plane and phi is either 18.4 or what you can do is you can add it to 90 and say 108 degrees from the positive axis, the positive x axis.